This is a simple prototype about doing forms and creating PDF for those from forms. So basically, we have this uh, integration with Form.io that we can create uh, dynamic forms at runtime. So we can we have all these fields that are predefined. Also, we have fields for almost every data type. So we can do a string, a unlimited string, phone number, number, date, time, and so on. So we can basically start just create a form and just add a, a name and we can change the position of the label or anything. And you can see a preview that we have right besides. We can add a placeholder, enter name. We can add a description, please. This field is for entering the name and it will put it right be behind it. We can add a tooltip, another way. And it will add it here. And you can add a prefix something that it will be in front or something that will be after. So there is a lot of configurations that we can do here. We can add mass, custom CSS classes. We can put the file values. We can add validation. This is, will be a required field or this is going to be a unique field. We can add conditional. This will be a shown only when other component is uh, has this value and so on. So let's we can add custom logic and advanced things. We can even add some uh, validation with a little bit of JavaScript with the data submission object of JSON and so on. So we can add a lot of things here, maybe salary. We can make a fake a form. We can add the date time and a, uh, Salary date is important to know. Uh, we can add remove the time part or add the time part, and you will see. Let me move this here. How your editor will look. You have a time part here. You can disable it, and then you don't have anything else. So you you are building your complete form. You can have a preview of the form, and you see how it's going to be looking. And when you submit, you have a JSON submission to do anything you want with it. Of course, we can put something to identify the form, the demo form. Meet up. And this is where things started getting even more interesting. You can get a template of a PDF. And if you guys know all PDF, we are able to do some, uh, we can generate and we can modify the PDF if we want. So we have another PDF here, for example, and then you have this acro form that you can fill it. So if we go and say, okay, let's edit the form. You see that they we have some identifiers, some key the values that we can use to know, okay, in this form, we want to add the name or we want to add anything. So you can see here those uh, uh, identifiers. So let's go back here. And now let's say that you, let's save. Created a form, this simple one of a contact soft that we have a first. And if you see, we did a simple. So if we click new, we go directly to the designer. If we uh, double click the form, we go directly to the form. And if we uh, click the form and edit, it's not a new one, we can go and modify anything that we have to, to do here. So another nice thing is that you can do the form and maybe send a link to your client. So let me see if I have the, you maybe send a link to the client and it right away create the form for you completely there. Now. Let's talk about the PDF template part. So we have a PDF that we're saying, okay, the form contact us. The template that we're going to be using is this test. That is the one that we just show here. And then we basically take a, and come here and we do, and this will, is going to improve. But so right now we just basically have, okay, let's map all the form fields to the PDF. So basically if you saw the PDF, in the right here, and we go back to edit. We have given name text box, family name text box. So basically, this is what we have here: given name text box, family name text box. And if we go to our form, we have, for example, this field first name is text field one. We can change that one and make it first name or put any key that we want. This second field. 
Uh, let's go to the edit JSON. It's text field two and so on. So with that one, we can do some really neat mappings. That we do text field two it will be here, and we can actually separate it by comma, and that tell hey put more than one field in the PDF like this, and you can even do some uh, map entry. This is a component that later you can start filling things and you can do other things and and say, okay, these two form key with this one over here and so on. And that will wait, you don't have to type it or not. And we iterate through the PDF, we iterate through the, to the form, get those values, put it for you so you can decide. And then we can do something like I want everything uppercase or I don't want everything uppercase or so on, so on. Let's leave it uppercase so we make a case. And now if we go to the form, and we go to the contact us. And remember, this is the one. Let's say that we put here Jose, second property uh, meetup. Email is required, so we're not going to be able to submit until we got an email and there is validation for the email and so on. Then if we click submit, we are able to jump to the PDF and the fields that we wanted, that we just fill on the form are going to be there and let's say that I want to go back and say okay this is perfect I can submit it or I can go back to the form and say okay this is not what I want I need to modify this and I will then replace that one so it's a really dynamic way to create any type of form take a pdf that it has acro form features and mix them together to take the pdf uh, generation from the form that would be so that's basically the proof of concept here. And the, the code is, again, it's pretty simple. It's, the, it's just going through all, it's using, let's go to the prepare PDF that I think that is most important, the PDF document processor from the DevExpress PDF library. And basically getting all the fields from the acro forms and from there, when we want to insert it, we just say uh, right here, uh, append line, put whatever we want in all those fields and load the new PDF with those uh, changes.